giving you further updates on the parade of the bands for Toronto's Caribbean Carnival 2017, scheduled for August 5th. We want to reiterate that we are having a much earlier start to the parade this year. So we are asking bands and masqueraders to assemble from as early as 6.30 a.m. at Exhibition Place. As you know, the parade of the bands begin with the guest bands at 8.30 and will be followed by costume bands from as early as 9.30 a.m. We are again going in the reverse direction where we are starting from the area of British Columbia Drive, heading east along the lake shore towards Newfoundland, where we will be showcasing the bands at Princess Boulevard, which we are calling the Spectrum. We are also speaking to several of the, the non-masqueraders and we ask them to please respect the mass, to not impede the bands along the route. Though we are starting earlier, we expect that you will be on the lakeshore early to view the, the parade, but we are asking that you respect the mass and allow the bands to parade as they move along the lakeshore at the first turn. Bands will be returning to the lakeshore after their first portion of the parade, at which times non masculine will have a chance to participate and be part of the huge block hole that's planned for the lakeshore thereafter. We're going to be having this year strict security on the route, which is going to ensure that non masqueraders do not impede and, and, and hamper that, that smooth flow. So we have to, to be supportive of our attempts this year to have the Grand Parade be the best ever to provide a successful flow for Carnival 2017, our 50th year of the festival. judging area, as we have spoken before, will consist of several areas of judging along the route. So masqueraders will have a much longer and a much wider stage to perform on. And section by section will be asked to move along the stage and not impede the flow and the process as well. So these are some of the areas that we are asking our masqueraders and non-masqueraders to be supportive of the event this year and to provide us with the opportunity to show the world that Toronto's Carnival can be one of the best in this region. We're going to have a lot more uh, security enforced. We're going to have a much stricter approach to the management of the parade. And this is to allow and eliminate the challenges of the past where bands have not been able to enjoy the experience of the lake show because of the impeding of non-masqueraders which most people tend to call stormers, creating difficulties on the parade. We're going to be stricter this year. Our level of management is going to be a lot more stringent, and we are going to have a zero tolerance to non-masqueraders, particularly on the uh, showcasing area, or the stage, as we will call it, known as the spectrum. We are asking non-masqueraders and stormers alike to be mindful of our efforts to improve the parade, and to ensure that the, the challenges of the past are eliminated. And we will certainly have a successful parade once we have your assistance in ensuring that this can be achieved. We also have our junior king and queen showcasing at Woodbine on July 16th, which is something that all of the kids and parents alike should attend and be excited about. It's going to showcase our young talent in costumes uh, vying for the junior king and queen of the bands, as well as junior male and female individuals. And we're adding a new piece this year, our junior toddlers, king and queen, which are going to be our under 10 toddlers on stage. Something that I know most people have always been excited about and something that we are happy to be hosting this year. On July 22nd at Malvern, Nielsen's Park, we're going to have our junior parade, which is an annual event and we are continuing that event there. And that's something that we all look forward to annually, to have our kids' bands parade. 
And that follows with our gala on July 28th, where we will be having our gala event, our, our carnival ball, and we employ a number of people to participate in this ball as well. It's a, a high level event and something that most people who are willing to dress at their best be participating in. On August 1st, we have our lighting of the CN Tower, Emancipation Day. That's also going to be a very intriguing event where we'll be lighting the CN Tower and a series of acts and performances will be held at the foot of the CN Tower. And of course, that follows with our Senior King and Queen showcasing at Lamport Stadium. And that event, again, is another signature event that it attracts large crowds. We're expecting a much larger crowd this year. Our competitors are all vying for the top spots. And I can tell you, based on my involvement with some of the bands, the competition is going to be very keen and of a very high quality. And then, of course, we move right into a parade day on August 5th, where we will be having our grand parade, our 50th anniversary celebration for this year, Toronto Carnival 2017. As you know, we have 11 bands participating this year. And I can tell you that almost all of the bands are doing very well. The participation this year seems to be a lot higher than in previous years. We have some of the smaller bands that are actually going to be parading on the route as medium-sized bands. Based on my feedback and the numbers that I am seeing, some of these bands are being able to attract. So we look forward to having a very great year this year, a grand parade, much more participation. And I can say again, and I want to reiterate, whether you're band number one, band number five, or band number 11, all bands are going to be on the lake shore before noon, and all bands are going to be crossing that showcasing area and competing for the various prizes available to them this year in our Caribbean Carnival 2017.